Welcome to Light a Shop. We are discussing this giraffe which we made in the last video that we posted. It was part of a palette upscale challenge that we ended, putting it on by Simply Wooden Creations. Thank you, Rush, for all your hard work in the backgrounds putting that together. So the video last week, my simple way is to use a jigsaw to dismantle a palette that That palette that I got that you saw me do the giraffe is all out of oak and cherry. See, I have evidence. Here's the oak and here's the cherry. You can tell by those little knots. So I actually got oak and cherry scrap out of a palette. I've never seen that happen before, but maybe. But it was a lot of fun to do. It was always creative ways to make these things happen. And a fun thing was is that actually thumbnail was not photoshopped in it was not green screen that was actually a true giraffe in the background my son and I were doing a video on our other channel you can check it out here if you want about animal crackers all right we made it to the giraffes which you can see behind us and we also have our giraffe cracker us eating the animal crackers in front of the animals like the giraffe the gorilla so forth to see the reactions. I was getting a lot of questions if I came up with a pattern or I came up with a concept out of my head to do the giraffe. I did not. I found some free prints online. Just look up animal 3D and patterns. You should come up with different things. So the pattern that I got was the giraffe as you see, but it was set up for eighth inch material and I was using 3 16 inch material as you see right here. I actually had to enlarge these grooves here on my pattern just to fit the material. So when the material comes together, they actually slinked in and locked together. Um, that's the only really changes I had to do. Everything else, the pattern came out great. I was skeptical about the pattern to start with after I cut all the pieces and that as soon as they started going together, saw the draft and I went that was amazing I could not do that by myself the shop tip I have for you this week is double-sided tape if you run out of double-sided tape if you just take masking tape no big deal kind of pull off a strip just a little tiny strip and kind of make it a ball and you just have like you kind of makeshift double stick tape um, very easy to do and then what I like to do with my masking tape or any tape I have is I take the corner and I roll it over so I always know where the tab is um, that's my little tips that I always use in my shop constantly all the time so shop update I have some lights that are starting to go out I need to replace the bulbs my ceilings are 16 feet high, so it's just a lot of work to go get an extension ladder, which I don't have here. Borrow it from a friend, bring it here, take care of that, bring it, take it back. So next week's video is regarding some artwork from my kids and what we, what we do with the artwork at home when the kids bring it home. Thank you for stopping by Light a Shop today and discussing a little bit of stuff about the video and upcoming projects and what's happening in my shop. I appreciate you stopping by. Thumbs up, subscribe, like, all that fun stuff. Leave a comment if you have any more questions about last week's video or this week's video. Right now, I'm going to hang out with my giraffe, give him a little extra time, and we'll see you in the next video. Hit me.